In my classroom, I try to bring rigor into my students on a daily basis based on my questioning. So I'm very uh, inquiry based in my teaching. I very, very seldom say uh, yes or no questions. So I question the students with an open-ended rather than yes or no. That way they have to think through the process and think through their mathematical language, think through about all the standards that we've covered, think about their prior knowledge versus just a yes or no. And to me, that's really helped the rigor in the classroom and building up those uh, kids that are on the high end. And I have high end kids that really struggle with answering questions because they've been able to regurgitate for so long the answers that they haven't been able to think about it. And so now uh, with this inquiry based learning or the inquiry based teaching, they're having to actually think through the answer in their question. All right, which number are we building around? Uh, zero. Zero. Which one is zero? X, X minus X. 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 You can stay up there. Okay. So going from X minus X, what's the next thing we're going to put up there? So this morning we had to do this little problem. It was X equals three. And so she had like negative X plus two or something like that. And on the number line, you'd have to work the question out in your brain, or you could write it on a piece of paper, and then you would put it on the number line where it is. And then at the end of the class, uh, we had Broderick that did, he was like our teacher that went up and Miss Reigns was like, now is this right or is it wrong? And then we just explained if it was right or wrong. This one was what, Broderick? Uh, negative three. So the negative three, negative what is here? Four. Negative seven? Is that in the right spot? No. Where do we need to push it to? Push it that way some?